Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be leaving a link down below in the description. You can download this file and you can also make your own CVs. To make a resume in PowerPoint, you first need to change the slide size by going to slide size option, change it to portrait and A4 size and click on ensure fit so that it can fit the screen. After doing that, you can remove the layout for the slide. Go to the insert option, go to the shapes and choose a rectangle and draw a rectangle across the boundary of the first slide. Now once you are done, you can remove the outline and change its color to the orange color. Copy this rectangle again, increase its width and make sure this width doesn't cover the half portion of the slide. Make it a little bit lesser than the half slide. Now increase the size a little bit to more to adjust a little bit more. So now decrease the rectangle size. I just copied another so that I can make the first part in which I'm going to place my own, my picture and my title and the description of the job. I'm going to make it a little bit darker to adjust the shade. Now let's just reduce the transparency so that it can merge with transparency the background color of this picture and doesn't appear as too dark or too low. I just want to create a visual difference between the two parts of the rectangles, the upper part and the lower part. Now let's just work on this shape in which we are going to place a picture. So this is a circle you can use and insert from the, in the shapes option. You can change the color of the shape by just clicking on the shape fill and you can also reduce the size. I recommend you to keep the same height and the width to keep consistency between the images. Let's copy this circle one more time and change this color to white and reduce the size of this color shape to a little bit lesser than the previous one so that it can show it will look like as an outline for the previous image. Now make sure this one is having an outline it has no fill. We are going to place an image inside this one. So for that we are going to reduce its size first so that it can look a part of a previous white background picture or the circle shape. Now we are going to adjust it a little bit. Go to the picture option, insert picture. I already have a picture inside. You can use your own passport size pictures and you can use them. Now I'm going to crop it to the small shape so that it can fit the circle size. One way to do that is after you crop this image, click on this image, reduce the size a little bit, go to crop, crop to shape, and then you can choose any shape that you want, circle, rectangle, or whatever you want. I recommend you to use circle so that it looks more better and also suits to the, looks more professional. Now once you are done with the picture, everything is done. Now let's move towards the text part. Now go to the text box, insert text box, write your name within the text box and make sure the text is readable and is enough bigger in size so that it can catch the initial attraction or attention of the reader. So now just increase the size. I prefer using Arial Black or Calibri fonts. They are more uh, attractive and look nice. Now once you are done with this, you can change it to a light gray color. Don't make it too black because black doesn't suit with the background color. So you need to think of the aesthetics and also you need to work on that part also. Now use a shape which is a line shape. Increase the width of this line and then change the color of this line to the background color. But make sure it's a little bit darker so that it can appear on the front of the page. So increase the size of the line and see if it's just. Change the color of the line and see how it looks. After that, copy the text again and put it down. In this text, you are going to write your title. It can be either software developer or it can be a designer, it can be a graphic designer or engineer, whatever you want, depends upon your own profession. So you can change whatever you like. If it's too long for a title, you can decrease the font size so that it can fit within the boundaries of the shape in the background. Now, once you are done with this one, we are going to work on the down part. But before that, we need to divide our sections into different layouts. So for that, I'm going to use a small rectangle shape again. I'm just using this as an outline boundary. Later, I'm going to delete them. Making these boundaries help you remember the area that you can cover for any specific part. So you, later, you can remove them also. Uh, it can help you to fit in the data that you want. Now let's work on the other parts, which is the language, scale, and the person information. So for that, we're going to make small bullets. So try to reduce the size a little bit. You need to think of the size of any object depending upon the overall space of the page. You don't have to make it too big. You don't have to make it too small. You just have to make it big enough to create a difference between the other shapes that you use in the file. I'm just going to copy these circles again so that I can create four different options, which is the mobile number, the date of birth, the personal address, and the email address. Now select them, arrange 
a line to the left and then arrange a line and distribute vertically so it will create equal distances between each circle so don't worry for the space or anything now just copy the text above and change this text you can copy the same text down below and then similarly do this below to save some time i just did uh, in advance i just did nothing else other than changing the text and adding something relevant to that information so now we'll show how you can add icons so for the telephone or contact number you can add this phone for the email you can add some other icons which can uh, be somehow similar to an email box or somehow even similar to a inbox or something like that for address you can use a pinpoint and what else and for data board you can use a calendar so don't worry if you don't have these icons in your uh, Microsoft PowerPoint you can simply download these from uh, Google or you can also search these uh, free uh, icons from online that, that are easily available so don't worry for that so if you don't have them don't worry just uh, follow these steps and you can make your own uh, icons also by just using simple shapes now let's just uh, reduce the size and we'll try to fit them inside those circles but before that we are going to put them here in the side and then we are going to reduce its size and change its color to white so that can be more prominent so once you are done uh, drag it and place it within the circle and change this color to white and place it here and reduce the size so that it looks as a part of the circle image and it doesn't go outside the boundary now similarly I'm going to do the same steps for the other parts I'm going to reduce the size so that it can fill within the circle and doesn't comes out of the circle so once you are done you are going to do the similar steps for the other parts also so now the first one is the mobile number the second one is the email address this one the shows the pinpoint which is the home address and this calendar shows your data port so I'm just ran using random information please don't call on these numbers they are random numbers so now let's just work on the other parts uh, in order to save the time what I did is I'm going to repeat the same step or other I'm going to add relevant information inside so now I have added the information inside. Now we are going to work on the other parts, which is the language. So for that, again, go to the shapes, take a circle, reduce the size of the circle. But this time, don't reduce it too much like the previous one because this is a main heading. So you want to keep it like as a language tab. So you need to make it a little bit bigger so that it can be more visible in comparison to the other part because this is your heading. So now I'm just changing and creating an in inner boundary with using a circle and you can reduce its size to keep a circumference outside the white circle to show the orange part. So now let's just work on this part. I'm going to select them and I'm going to choose a lighter color which is a dark gray color and choose this one as an orange color to show that the background is a little bit darker and the front side is the orange color. So now let's work on this part. Now this is a language tab. I'm going to copy this text part and going to paste it here. I'm going to write language inside here. Make sure you use the capital font. It lets, that looks more beautiful and more attractive. Now, once you are done with the language, so think about the icon which you can use. Do you want to use a globe for that or you can use some other icons? Go to the in icons in the insert menu. Type the icons like this one, but I couldn't find anything. So I'm going to write a globe. And I'm going to copy this globe instead and going to put inside this orange shape. Now this globe looks a little bit big. Reduce the size, change the fill to white and it can be more visible like this so normally we don't have enough languages to speak so for example normally we have english and urdu or hindi sometimes or you can say korean if you are in korea you no know, the basics of korean so it depends on you which kind of languages do you have so now we are just creating uh icons or we can say we are creating bullet points for our language tab we can have three or four languages depending upon our own choice or number or our skill sets so now let's just reduce the size of this uh dot to show that this is an inside circle now copy this again and paste it and what we can do is we can make another black dot make a little bit more smaller to put it inside so that it looks like an eye so now once you are done with this one this bullet looks more professional and more good in comparison to the default bullet points that you have in the powerpoint so now once you are done with one you are going to do one more set for this one which is that you are going to copy the text from the top part you're going to paste it down here and you can add the, your first language which is english you make sure you keep it in font capital font looks more nice so copy the background and paste it here now you are going to copy the same circle five times so that it can have the same set in which you can show the level scale out of five if you have four level that means you are good enough in 90 percent if you are 80 percent if you have four three levels or two person automatically it depends now i've created five circles uh, select them all go to home arrange and you can arrange them on the top then again go to align and then arrange them to the top and then align again and then you can distribute horizontally 
So now once set is done, you can do the similar step for the other one. But remember, you have to copy one more time and paste it on top so that you can show the fills. Now I'm going to use the uh, orange fill here and I'm also going to do same for the other parts. Now I did the other part so that we can save a little bit time. So once you can do, you can remove the extra ones and you can make the fills according to your own choice. But remember, keep one background, keep one fill on the background so that it shows there is an empty part or there is a fourth part. Now as you can see. Two parts are done so we are going to work on the last part and similarly this last part is also going to be the same part because we don't have to add much of the text so now we are creating partitions between the two sections which is the personal information and the language tab so by using a simple line and reducing the size or color you can create a difference between the two parts instead of using the outlines you can use these kind of lines which will look more better and more attractive now let's just work on the last part copy this uh, icon again and then copy the text part also again do the same steps now let's just choose an icon first for our scale set now just type scales so it can be anything with any icons that you think resembles exactly in which you are looking for so I'm going to use this computer which shows my soft scales I'm going to use this and reduce the size change the background color change the fill color and going to place inside the circle so now you can see that orange and white has a great combination and they look more prominent I'm going to copy the text file again and I'm going to change this to soft skills and also again to save time I'm going to copy a bullet that I made on the top and I'm going to paste them down here along with the text. So now I have copied these three and I'm going to repeat the step again to for the down part also because I'm not going to create six sets of skills sets. You can also reduce any section depending upon your own availability of skill sets it can be either two or either you can increase the space on the top part it depends on you you can create any section in this part so it depends all on based on your experience and set skills so now this part is done pretty much looks good and also uh, looks balanced now we are going to work on the right hand side which is the white part which includes your work experience uh, includes your highlights or skills and other parts now pretty much it gives up a definite confident look now we are going to work on that part which includes your work experience see in this whole uh, video i'm not using any uh, hi-fi tool to any set of skills just uh, simple shapes and just arranging them so remember you just have to be confident yourself don't 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 just worry about it just start and then you can learn a lot of things now i'm just going to create a set of icons for the education for the education you can use some bag or you can use some uh, some computer whatever you like so this time i'm just going to work on this part first so uh, you can create a difference between any other part so remember like I told you before the shape should have a same orientation same size height and width so that it looks more organized instead of looking wavy so now I'm choosing an object so if you don't have any uh, icons that you have you can just simply use text I'm going to show in the last two parts so let's just use these books to show the education and I'm going to drag it a little bit up and reduce its size uh, again and change this color to white and put it inside the circle okay so this resembles our education copy this text here and change this text to education reduce the size a little bit so that it doesn't look too prominent on the cv so you better be uh less make it less uh, prominent in your resume so that it doesn't catch much of the attraction but it should catch the places where you want the people to go and look at which are your set of skills so now uh, this education comes here uh, I just copied the text from my previous file you can also create create levels which includes your high school your secondary school and your university so now uh, this is the education part I'm going to work on the second part which is our highlights and overview which says that what are your achievements instead of writing your achievements and skills you can just write the different word which is overview and highlights so this will cover all your achievements uh, throughout your journey from the high school to from the secondary school to your college or university it depends now again i'm going to copy this text from a separate file i'm going to paste it here uh these texts are from other samples so i'm just using this to fill the space so you can use your own set of achievements and skills and you can change them according to your own self but the main thing to focus is to how we can do the on how we can work on this part now, as we can see that we don't have uh, if you don't have any icons don't worry for that you can just remove them and you can just uh, copy them uh, copy a single text or single word you can paste in that so now most of the CV I didn't do anything uh, anything uh, too special all the thing that I use is simple text box simple shape and simple outlines nothing else so now also paste the career outlines and career details to look like how they present now I'm going to work on the text part which is I'm going to create an icon which is like this one so if you don't have an icon you can just use the word and increase the size make it bold 
change its color and put it inside now when I change the color you can see it looks good and doesn't look bad so don't worry for the icons you can just use these initials and you can represent your any other section any section in your resume you can also proceed down below for the second part of the page or you can add more achievements if you have more details if you have more experience so that's how you can work on it so now this part is done just align them a little bit up and down so that it looks more prominent and more uh, more balanced so now once you are done you can save it as or export it as a pdf and you can change any name because when, when exporting in a pdf it gives it more big uh, good pixels and good quality i hope you guys like this video and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe leave your comments down below if you have any queries I'm also going to leave them a link down below in the description so that you can download this uh, resume from the link. Also, do share with your friends so they can also get benefit from this one. If you're looking for animation, poster designs and any other presentation stuff, you can check out my other videos. Sharing is caring, so do share with your friends. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.